the world is filled with odd things and uh, <laughs> I, I didn't really think this, but sometimes I think, well, the older you get, the more things you've seen, so the less odd everything appears. That is not necessarily the case because there are these new trends of human behavior that just blow the mind like that. And um, a couple of years ago, I was on the ferries. If you live in Amsterdam, you have these ferries that go back and forth across the eye. They are free, which is really nice. And there was no big deal. I was just on the ferry going from the north to the south side. And kind of foolish, nothing strange or super spectacular. And there was a young lady in front or before me and she was doing things, checking makeup, and then she pulled out uh, some lipstick and began to apply the lipstick. And the boat, occasionally you have situations where a larger tank has gone by, so you have these waves, so the ferry sort of moves from side to side. And this ferry moved from side to side, and she dropped her lipstick. And, well, these things happen. We've all dropped things. However... What happened next was a bit odd because she dropped the lipstick and then she's facing me, I'm looking at her and she just acted as if nothing at all had happened. Nothing had happened. And I, okay, I saw the lipstick was there on the floor and it's sort of rolling one way and rolling another way, the other way. Uh, and she just, just, was looking this way as if like I'm thinking wait a second what on earth is that and there was an older lady who was sort of to her side who you know sometimes you see things and you look at somebody and they've also seen the thing you've seen so you both know that hey this is a bit weird and she sort of shrugged like what is that it's just lipstick it wasn't there was nothing it just you dropped a, a thingy of lipstick just pick it up but no she wouldn't pick it up and I began to think, what? why would you do that? Why would you be so afraid to pick up something you dropped in public? And then I thought, you know, I first thought, oh, yeah, look, you were once young. And I said, yeah, but when we were young, sure, the world was different, but I don't remember anybody. I think you would just pick it up. I can't, I, I don't know. First of all, I don't use lipsticks. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I have... Was it Lobello, those things I used to use for um, cracked lips, chapped lips? I don't know if it fell, but I would pick it up. But what struck me was it seemed as if she was paralyzed by shame, by really, really being afraid. And then I suddenly remembered, oh, wait a second, I'm sitting here, I'm standing here looking, saying, oh, you're too afraid to do that. And I, all these these moments appeared where when I was young, I was just really, I did not want to be seen. I did not want to be involved in anything that got me attention, which sounds a bit odd because I'm now doing videos like this. And I thought, oh, is that what it is? Is that what it looks like from the outside? Because then, as a young person, of course, I'm too young and uh, I don't have the mindset to think, oh, you are afraid and you're doing this and nobody is watching you, so you don't need to worry. I didn't have that kind of bandwidth in my head to figure these things out whereas now much older you can see it but it was just a bit sad to, to realize that you would rather lose your own property than I guess get embarrassed by having people see you pick it up yet at that moment you can't see that we we're looking at you because it fell and it made a noise and we're noticing that you're not picking it up the lipstick thing up and it makes it a lot worse so so I thought oh yeah that's a bit sad um I'm sure 20 years ago I was sort of finger wax oh you shouldn't do that or you should pick it up but I just realized how we can get so stuck you know you you, you we really we are our own we, people have said it a million times the worst enemy you can find is yourself because you can convince yourself to do something that seems to make sense, but to the outside world, and when you reflect on it many years later, you think that was absolutely nuts. And so I'm quite curious, because I'm sure this lady will remember this moment. She seems so frozen uh, by 
shame or whatever it was. Oh, I dropped my lipstick. I can't pick it up. That uh, hopefully, maybe by now, she has um, realized, ah, oh, it wasn't worth it. I could have saved myself uh, buying a new uh, thingy of lipstick. But look, we're all human, aren't we?